Today's a very exciting day in Buffalo. Seneca One is getting a 1928 Ford built at the Plant A back in the lobby to represent what the past history was in Buffalo and the future of Buffalo. How are you going to get it inside? What are you going to do? Well, to there it? you go. We're removing the glass from the window over here, which, which is a monumental job by itself. So I want to bring life back into the building. I want to bring the history back into the building. We're extremely excited about this development. It's the linchpin to downtown. It's a uh, work in motion. We're very excited about it. It, it, it engulfs you uh, because you really, can, it's very enthusiastic. I'm very enthusiastic about it. And I love coming here and I love waking up every morning and working on this project. It's very challenging. It's a big building that challenges you. So you really got to dig into it. You got to live this. I wish I could say puff the magic dragon and it's done, but it's not that way. I'm sure people are dying to know when they can get into the apartments. October. The apartments are just about done, but I want to deliver the building in its proper form and give it the respect that it needs. And I want it all cleaned up. I don't want it to look like a construction site that it looks right now. How about office space? Give us an update on office space here. Things are progressing. We're working with a couple of tenants at the present time right now. We have no announcements to make at the present time. Any possible big names? There's always something possible. And then the retail would be down? And in the plaza and also on the south side by the canal side on Washington, where the loading berths are is going to be retail because we want to make this connected to the canal. So as far as retail, any big names possible? Or are you looking at anything like that? Well, it's going to be all independent local retailers, Buffalo retailers. And we're going to show them the space when it's just about ready to show. Right now, we're not ready to do anything. How about entertainment? Any sort of entertainment venues or anything? It'll, it'll be restaurants and bars and breweries. So that, that will be the entertainment. It's nice to be able to make a difference in a city. And I feel here I can contribute something and make a difference. So that makes somebody of my age feel good. How old are you, Doug? Old enough. <laughs> Well, you're probably older than me. I'm no, 60, you know. <laughs> the car is older than me. Let me put it to you that way. Well, that's good to hear.